you're factoring in how complex the part is. Um, you know, we do semi-permanent mold here as well. Um, we can do slides, inserts, all different kinds of things to help you get as close as you can to a finished product through the casting process. But there's also a lot of other things that go into that. You can cast in cavities. You can also add in um, with the sand core steel insert. So you're adding multiple elements into the casting, which is great. So you can create some pretty complex castings through a permanent mold. Yeah, and those sand cores really help to um, alleviate machining time, right? And machining time is kind of why we're doing the casting in the first place, right? I mean, I know we're, we're not able to cast every single, or machine every single part, but you want to get as close as you can to the finished product and, you know, the different things we add in really, really help that. Yep. If you're looking at um, multi-cavity tools, you can get um, anywhere from four to six parts, depending upon the size, out of that one tool. So again, get that return on your investment and be able to get the quality um, that you're looking for in the casting. And especially in a process where if you are looking for something that's denser, um, less porosity, that's a great way to go. Yeah, and I think you end up with a portion where if you are running a higher volume in permanent mold, if you do invest a little bit more um, in tooling and add in multi-cavities, your piece price is going to go down, right? So that's going to really help alleviate um, you know, costs on the per piece price versus running one small part. Because um, setup charges and, and run times and cycle times all, all affect uh, all the price of the casting.